to introduce our guests. Berkeley's For Christ's Sake Acapella. They came all the way over from the University, University of Berkeley to open for us. So again, huge round of applause for FCS, For Christ's Sake. <laughs> Oh, 
next song we'll be doing is Rise Up by Andrea Day.
All right. That was something quite special, wasn't it? Give it one more, give it up one more time for FCA. All the way from Berkeley. Yes, it's our sister, Acapella Group over at Berkeley. Thank you once again for coming all the way out here. So without much further ado, I'd like to introduce Testimony. Welcome to Cinemark 2022 XD. Please be courteous and kind to others and silence yourselves. <laughs> Should you need to exit, proceed to the exit on the left side of the theater. Please enjoy the show. outside, the wind tapping gently against the windows. In a small rural town, the lights are up, and a giant Christmas tree stands in the center of the town square.
cottage, a family opens Christmas presents together. In this family are two working class parents, a young son, and a very, very uncoddled, unhampered, completely selfless 18 year old daughter named Abigail. When is this going to be over? I told you guys that I wanted to go to my friend's Christmas party tonight. A little patience, please, Abigail. Josh, here's your present. <laughs> it's an avocado! Thanks, <laughs> Mom and Dad! <laughs> when is it going to be my turn? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Abigail. Here's your present. We love you so much. I hope you got me something good. What is this? It's the MacBook Pro Limited Edition 362 XC. We thought you could use it for school. <laughs> this is so out of fashion. All of my friends have the MacBook 363 Pro Max XCXC Limited Edition. <laughs> what am I going to use this for exactly? Well, Abby, what do you want? You know that we try our best to make you happy. Uh, but I'm not happy. You're not hearing me. All of my friends are going on trips around the world. They're all in the prime of their youth. And I'm here stuck with you guys, always in the same old boring town, same old boring family. Look, Abigail, it might be hard to understand right now, but in the future, you'll look back on this and realize that we had your best interests. It's true, honey. While we want to take you guys on these trips, we just don't have the money. Instead, we're saving up for your college, and that's more valuable than any trip. <laughs> you can have this back. Instead, I want all of my college savings in cold, hard cash. Right now. I'm going to travel with you and leave this family. <gasps> Young lady, how could you ask for such a thing? Uh, it's my money to use how I want. Hand <laughs> it over. <gasps> <laughs> Abigail, you are a full-grown adult. At the end of the day, if this is what you want, you can have it. But I implore you to use it wisely. Nice. Thanks. I mean, I'm going to get out of this town. I'm sorry, but you guys are a little too tedious for me. I can't wait to get out of here. Adios, suckas. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where's Abby going? I don't know, son. I don't know. Woo! I don't know where I'm gonna go now that I'm home free. Oh, I know. I'll go to New York City. Land of my favorite vloggers, concrete jungle, city of dreams. That's where I'm gonna go. Abigail packs her bags and leaves for New York City with her new fortune. She's astonished by the sights, the smells, and the New York Christmas vibes. Woo, New York! Oh, Gideon! 
God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Comfort and joy, oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Bum, 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 bum. Now to the Lord sing praises, all ye 
love you within this place Like the true loving bread Bread each other to embrace For the merry time of Christmas Is drawing on our pace And it's tidings of comfort and comfort and joy And it's tidings of comfort and joy God bless the master of this house And send him on to reign and many a merry Christmas may live to see again Among your friends and kindred that live both near and far And God send you a happy new year Happy new year And God send you a happy new year doing with my life. I'm here cold, all alone, and hungry. I bet mom, dad, and Josh are all sitting in front of a crackling fireplace watching a really good Christmas movie like Home Alone, and I'm here. Hi there, young lady. Hi. What's your name? <laughs> I'm Abigail. Nice to meet you, Abigail. My name's Tilly, and I love coming to this church this time of year. Sitting in the pews and just listening to the choir sing the carols always warms my heart with tidings of great comfort and joy, and it reminds me of the real reason we celebrate Christmas. Say, Christmas, you don't seem to be in much of a Christmas spirit. Do you have something on your mind? <laughs> yeah, I'm alone on the biggest holiday of the year. Well, this isn't going to be my first holiday that I'll be spending alone, but I'm feeling just fine. I sense that maybe your sadness is coming more from what you've lost than simply from being alone. That's true. I have lost a lot. My old life, my old school, my old friends, my old family. I've even lost some of my old opportunities too. I don't really know what I'm doing here or where I'm going. Some of what you just said reminds me of one of my favorite parables out of the Bible. It's called the prodigal son in Luke 15. Do you mind if we read a little bit of it together? No, fine, go ahead. Can you hold this dearie? <laughs> Okay, so Luke 15, 11, and he said, there was a man who had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, father, give me the share of property that is coming to me. And he divided his property between them. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country, and there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him into his fields to feed pigs. And when he was longing to be fed with the pods that the pigs ate, but no one gave him anything. And when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and say to him, father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. And when he arose, <clears throat> he came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet and bring the fattened calf and kill it and let us eat and celebrate. For my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And then they began to celebrate. Many, many times in my life, I found myself wandering away from the Lord and his ways, and I felt completely unworthy to come back to him. But every single time, I felt that the Lord's loving arms are there welcoming me back, ready for me to take the first step to return back toward him. There's always a way back home. Mm. Oh my goodness, I think the choir's about to come out and sing my favorite song, Mary Did You Know? <laughs> Did you know that 
Let your baby boy know one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? The child that you've delivered will soon deliver you.
something about the joy of the carols and the loneliness within brings Abigail to a realization. I want to go back home to my family. I've done so many things wrong. I've spent all of my money on bad friends, food, partying, clothes. I honestly don't deserve my family's forgiveness. I wouldn't take myself back if I were them. But I have to try. Agabelle decides to hitchhike across the country back home just in time for Christmas.
drifting softly down outside, the wind tapping gently against the windows. The lights are up, and a giant Christmas tree stands in the center of Town Square. Yeah. 